Hey, what's up, Glorious Gang? So, I am coming back with another DTF hack video. Today, I'm using the She Henry um, DTF Film and Powder. I got that off of Amazon for about $10.99. It comes with the film and the powder. So, right now, you see me putting my image that I've downloaded from Pinterest onto my computer into Cricut Design Space on my heat press to cure the DTF powder. I did that for about two to three minutes and I did rotate um, at least two times to make sure it was totally cured. As you can see, it made the colors totally pop. So I'm pretty much satisfied with this image. So next I'm going to add the image to my canvas, which is a white shirt that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I have already lint rolled and pre-pressed the shirt. Now I'm going to place my image down and make sure I position it right because you do not want to move the film once it is on your garment because the ink is still tacky and wet. I have my heat press set to about 351. It does recommend that your heat press is set in between 330 to 372. Um, so I try to do it in between. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the image onto my shirt. Guys, please remember this is a cold peel. So you want to fully, fully make sure your shirt is completely cool before we uh, take off the image to see how it looks. So I'm going to add some butcher paper over my image. And then we are going to press to make these colors turn into the gas and stick to the fabrics and just make them more vibrant. I cannot wait to see how this comes out. It is a beautiful image. Again, I got my image from Pinterest. All you have to do is download them to your computer, phone, however you print. Um, you guys know I like to save money on my designs. I find them all kind of ways. So my image is completely done and pressed to my shirt. Um, I did fast forward the video. Um, you see me taking a peek. I'm going to go back um, over and press again. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how it looks. It is completely cooled. And voila. 